Hello everyone, my name is Mehek. I hope you guys are fine, you all are safe and like always, I also hope that you guys are reading. Um, back with another interesting book and very special because it was suggested by one of you guys. So I have a very sweet follower and she calls me Didi and she said, you know, you have read this book. If not, you should. It's very interesting. And I said, okay, let me check it out. And I went and read the summary and, you know, one of the lines in the summary was that nine people nine different characters recall their relationship with a young woman and i said okay this sounds interesting something that i've not read in a long time and i'm glad i picked it up because it's actually a wonderful read and very different from what i have been reading the book is the nine chambered heart it's by Janice Perriot. uh fun fact when i read the author's name i thought she's an english author because the name sounded so but she's not she's an indian author Okay, now coming to the book, it's about this young woman, a little about her background. Uh, so since she was young, she was abandoned by her parents and because who we were working and constantly traveling, so they kind of abandoned her and sent her to live with her grandparents. So um, she's always have, uh, as you read in the book, even when she grows, there's always that um, fear of uh, abandonment in her, which is very evident in all her relationships. Plus, uh, you know, there's always, when you see her, there's always that need to be loved. She's always in need of love and attention because obviously as a child, she's never received it. Uh, yeah, so um, majorly the plot line is that, uh, you know, this um, nine characters, nine very different characters, they recall their relationship with this young woman and each of them come in her life in, uh, you know, at various stages uh, of life. And as you, so the book is divided actually into nine chapters and each chapter has a different name. Uh, and by the time you, you know, um, finish every chapter, you realize that why that chapter is particularly, you know, named that way. So for example, there's a chapter called the saint, the florist, um, you know, and um, signifying actually each lover that comes in her life. And you realize by the time you finish the chapter, okay, why was that lover called the saint or why was that lover called the florist? So yeah, uh, this is what uh, majorly the plot line of the book is. A uh, very interesting aspect of the book that I would like to add is that all the characters, including our main, uh, main character, are nameless. So the author has not given name to any character. In fact, the story, you know, switches from um, one city to another and all the cities are also nameless, which again, I found very interesting. So you're reading a book with nameless characters and nameless cities. Very interesting, you know, I've not come across this aspect in I think all none of the books that I've read so far um, yeah so uh, but you know what I uh, felt was sadly as a reader uh, you do not know much about the young woman in the sense um, you only know her through the lens of this of these nine lovers you know who are sharing their memory of her um, as a reader I would have loved to know about her flaws about her uh, you know qualities about her nature but um, I think um, you don't get that, um, you know, aspect from the book. You, you're actually seeing her only through the lens of these nine lovers. So I felt like the projection was um, very superficial because, you know, if you're lovers, you expect that the person would share their positives and negative, etc. You know, but um, that, that wasn't the case, which I felt. Um, uh, you only realize, you know, uh, through the different phrases that these nine characters use and the general proje projection of this young woman that she's very restless. Uh, she's a free spirit. She's always uh, looking for adventure. She can't stay stuck in one place. And, uh, you know, she's always on the go. She always wants to do something unusual. That is what, that's the only thing that you know about her or her character, which is, I think, uh, very evident in all her relationships or the reason that she abandons people is because, uh, you know, I felt that she could not be tied or, uh, you know, stuck in one place. Um, uh, talking about her lovers, you know, I felt like the characters were so different. You know, there was right from an art teacher, uh, to her dorm mate, your roommate, and uh, there were two married men, and uh, one person, one one was a famous writer. So the, there are many different, you know, these nine characters. And what I loved, you know, which is actually kudos to the author, that um, all these nine characters, you know, I think they are. I felt, you know, more than the young woman, the main character. These nine characters were like the anchor because they keep you hooked 
each of them you know they have a, a very interesting and engrossing background story each of them display their emotions their grief you know any emotions that they have whether it's the love or lust or sympathy or any of the emotions that they have for the young woman or in general their wishes their desires everything is beautifully shared and you enjoy reading about these nine characters where they come from and uh, you know what are their dreams and how do they perceive this young woman etc so which i found very interesting um um and as you go along you realize that you know um, each of these characters all have a different opinion about her or perspective about her some perceive her as very generous and loving while some perceive her as very self-centered and selfish lover and that made me you know realize that it all depends on you know at what stage of life we meet people and what part of ourselves we share with them depending on them uh, depending on that they form opinion about us or our nature um yeah i think that that is what uh, majorly the book is all about uh, i think my favorite chapter was um, the first chapter when she's 12 and you know the art teacher uh, is uh, you know talking about his impression of her and i think that chapter was well rounded in the sense it gave you um, a little more insight about her and her background whereas the other chapters were more like you know sometimes you get the sense it's about this young girl going on a holiday uh finding someone across the room and hooking up with her uh whereas the first chapter you know had uh, a lot of her background story and what's going on in her mind and so yeah i really like the first chapter but all in all i would say if you um you know if you're in the mood of picking something different this is the one um you know in spite of not having any suspense or plot twist it kept me hooked throughout I felt the overall writing was very poetic and you know draw and heartbreaking you know how you would read these poetry books that's what I felt this book was um so yeah thank you uh, to my lovely follower uh, for recommending me this book i thoroughly enjoyed it that's all on this one i'm going to see you next week with another title till then take care bye bye